Ahoy mateys, all aboard for day number three of Camp Backyard. Arg ye buccaneers, today is going to be so full of fun. Um, Mary, the the kids are over. Right, no, 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 no. Ah. there. Oh, there they are. <laughs> and I'm so excited because we got so much in store for ye. <laughs> That's right, today is Treasure Island, but not only that, it's also Water Day. So we got tons of Water Day challenges and games planned for you guys. That's right, so make sure you're watching all of the crazy awesome services keeping up on social media at James River Kids and checking out all the cool stuff in those awesome camp boxes. Like these super cool eye patches. Just probably don't wear two at the same time. I got a little confused earlier. That's definitely a great idea. Well, I know Mary and I are ready for today and I'm pretty sure you guys are ready for the day. So let's stand up to our feet and set sail. Woo! Hey Buccaneers, we hope you're ready for a little adventure on the high seas. Do you have a hook? Let me see it. Pull it out like this and say, Arr! Arr! Good job. I think you're ready. Here we go. Buccaneers, pack your bags, swap the deck, raise the flag. We're headed to the seven seas. Yo ho! Stowaways and scallywags, today's the day. So don't look
Show me life like it's supposed to be An oasis, here awaits us All the freedom I'll ever need Now I'm alive When I let go, then I find life When I let go, then I find life We'll see you soon, right guys? 
Hey friends, what's up? It's Kendon here, and I'm gonna tell you about our Bible story of the day. And I'm super excited because it's one of my favorite Bible stories. In fact, it's one of the most popular Bible stories ever. Can you take a guess what it is? Awesome, if you said David and Goliath, way to go, nice job. That's what we're gonna be talking about all today is David and Goliath. And I wanna tell you just a little bit about the story. Maybe you've already heard it, but that's okay. I still wanna tell you all about it. So grab a seat, get nice and comfortable because it's quick, super fast story time with Kendon. And we're gonna be talking all about David and Goliath. And of course, our main character of the story is David. Now David, when he fought Goliath, he was ah about a teenager. Now, do any of you guys have an older brother or sister that are a teenager or even have a sibling that's one? I do, and sometimes they can be a little crazy. But David was a teenager, and he wanna know what happened? His job was to take care of the sheep. Uh, excuse me, so you're telling me that the guy that was king for like 30 years and killed Goliath watched sheep? That's right, before he killed Goliath or even was king, he watched sheep and his job was to take care of them. And he did an amazing job at it. This one time, he killed a bear and another time he killed a lion. Could you imagine how crazy that would have been to face off against a lion? This town ain't big enough for the both of us, you silly old lion. All right, back to the story. And one day, while he was watching those sheep, his dad asked him, David, can you take lunch to your brothers in the battlefield? Maybe it was Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, or oh, my favorite, Taco Bell. Oh, maybe he brought that to the battlefield to them. Who knows? <laughs> And as David walks up to that battlefield with all the food, this is what he sees. He sees a giant standing over the army going, oh, 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 oh. And all the people of Israel's armies, even David's own brothers were hiding scared. Ah! And the giant said, will anybody fight me? Oh, oh, oh. And guess what? David said, I will fight you. And the giant just laughed. Ho, 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 ho. You, you're just a boy. Now here's the thing. David was just a boy, but David knew that God was going to go before him. Even if he had to face a giant that was 10 feet tall. Could you imagine 10 feet tall? That's as tall as a basketball goal. Imagine someone being able to dunk using their head. <laughs> David knew that he could face that giant because he knew that God was with them. And he also knew that God was going to make him brave. <gasps> that is a great big idea for today. We can give God our warmest smile because God makes me brave. Let's say that big idea all together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. My God makes me brave. And you and I, we can be brave no matter what. Here's the thing. David knew our good idea. He knew that God can make him brave. In fact, I love it what it says in God's word. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 46, listen to what David says. He says this talking to Goliath. He says, Goliath, on this day, the Lord will deliver you into my hands. Did you hear that? David knew that God was gonna defeat Goliath for him. So David knew that he could be brave. And that's what happened. David defeated Goliath. And since our God is making us brave, we can give God our warmest smile. Let's do that right now. Everyone look to God and give him your warmest smile. Nice job. Well, boys and girls, I want you to remember that you guys are world changers and that God loves you so, so much. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day number three at Camp Backyard. I know I've had a blast, and we'll see you guys tonight for our awesome night service. Woo! 
What's up, guys? It's Nathan and Kendon, and we are back for more game time! Woo! It's game time! And today is pirate theme, but not only that, it's also water day. So Nathan and I, we have some awesome water themed games for you guys. It's gonna be so amazing. I am so excited for the games today, and the first game that we are playing is a chilly one. I see doubloons. This game is gonna be so much fun. And here's how you play. Arrgh, some pirates lost their treasure in the Arctic Ocean and it's your job to rescue it. All you need to do is get a big bowl or a big bucket, fill it with ice and water, and then put some treasure in it. Maybe marbles or coins or whatever you have that's special and important and small enough to get out with your toes. That's right, <laughs> stick your toes in that bucket and you have one minute to get out as many items as you can. I am so excited for that game. And after that, we have one more awesome pirate game for today and it is called Kraken Run. This game is gonna be so much fun and here's what you need to do. Set out an obstacle course in your yard. Maybe something to crawl under or to jump over. And then, since it's water day, involve as much water as you can. Put sprinklers all the way out. Maybe there's a river that goes in your backyard. Jump in that. Or if you have a pool, even better, swim across the pool or do something with water to involve as much water as you can for water day. And then time yourself and see how fast you can do the crack and run. That is going to be so awesome and make sure you guys keep track of all your times and time all your friends so that we can see who did the fastest crack and run. That's right, it's gonna be amazing. In fact, Nathan, you know what? I think that we should play a game right here, right now! Yes! Let's go! This game is called Parrot Party and here's how it works. On the screen, you're gonna see six parrots but there's gonna be two that look identically the same. It's our parrots, Pete and Polly. Oh my goodness, and your job is to find them. So whenever they go up on the screen, see if you can find Petey and Polly. Are you ready? Okay, here's round one, here we go. I think I see them, is that them right there? Job, boys and girls, way to go. Are you ready for round number two? It's gonna be just a little bit harder. Focus really hard. Okay, I see them, I see them both. There they are. Nice job, did you guess it right? Oh, <laughs> way to go, all right. Round number three is gonna be just a little bit harder. Okay, here we go. This one is so hard. Where are they? Pretty Polly, where are you? Oh, Nathan, there they are. Oh, yes. Way to go, boys and girls. You guys did such an awesome job with that game. Wow, that was so much fun. Thank you guys for helping us find Petey and Polly. Yes, that was great. And I hope that you guys have an awesome rest of your day at Camp Backyard, and I hope you enjoy your water day games. We'll see you tomorrow. Arr. Ahoy, Buccaneers. Today has already been such an amazing day. Arg, it has, and it's only gonna get better. All right, mateys, let's go ahead and check out our pirate checklist for today. Arg, let's see what we got first. Make a pirate sword, you know. A pirate ain't a pirate without his sword. That's so true. And the next one says, talk like a pirate all day long. I, I'm already doing that one, mateys. Next up, we got read the day three camp devotions. Oh, those devotions have been so great. I love seeing those every morning. Next, it says, join us for the morning camp rally. Well, way to go, Buccaneers. You've already done that one. Arg, finally. You don't want to miss tonight's Camp Chapel. It's going to be so great. I cannot wait to do that. We've got so many good activities for ye to do today out at the sea. Yeah.